the wife that I chose is better than the man that I am. I married a woman two sizes too big. I have to grow into Aventer. She's a coat. I still can't fit her. She's bigger than me. And she's had to cover me while I grow up. I got to grow into her. But she's a covering. She's a covering, not a lid. Because if a man marries a lid, she'll stop your dream. But if you marry a covering, she'll push you to your destiny. Now, I'm about to shout and tear this whole thing. I'm just telling you. All the way out of this stuff. Let me tell you something. My, my wife has endured more pain birthing me than both of our children. She has sacrificed these last eight years uncovering the painful areas of my manhood and covering the areas that could have exposed me. She deserves anything I can give her. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I'm going to live the rest of my life to honor her because she gave me what I couldn't give myself, which is a chance to heal while still seeing the God in me. Oh God. You know what? That's a roller coaster right there. <sighs> you know what? I'm not gonna do the arbitals in this video. I want you all to write the arbitals below, the arbitals that you picked up on. Because I picked up on so many and I, I, I wanna I, I, I wanna see if you all are hearing what it is that I'm hearing. So I want you all to do the arbitals which are read between the lines, and I'm just going to jump into it. I've heard this clip several times, and each time that I hear it, it irritates me more and more for different reasons, right? But finally, on one of the last times that I listened to it, I realized, I realized something in his final sentence when he said that she um, covered him, she, she, she saw the, or uplift him or whatever while still seeing the God in him. And it dawned on me all of these times that people are saying that the black woman is God. And I see that in so many relationships, she is. He's talking about how she gave birth to him. She uplifted him. She covered him while seeing the God in him. That was his Lord and Savior, his wife. And so you know what? I'm like, it, it just it just clicked for me. But I want to hear your thoughts below. There's so many things that are swimming around about this. And the women who are who the the hosts who are on this show cackling and, 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 and praising this nonsense is the part that I found most embarrassing because it didn't dawn on anybody there that maybe this woman had dreams of her own. He talks about how, and you know what? The, the ego of this, the narcissism of this is stupefying. Because to him, he's saying these things out loud as if, yeah, of course, it's supposed to be her job to do this. It's supposed, of course, because he's even going so much on to talk about how, yeah, if you find, if you marry, a, if a man marries a lid, she'll stifle your dream. But if you marry a cover, she'll push you and motivate you up unto that. And I'm like... Son, are you not realizing that you were her lid? You held her back. It didn't dawn on anybody on this panel that maybe this woman had dreams of her own, that maybe she had a destiny that was far beyond using her uterus as a doggone mechanic shop for broken boys. I'm just, I'm so sick and tired of this trope over and over and over. And I'm just, you know what? Let me calm down. Calm down, Tanya. Calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm calm. I'm calm. Don't worry. I'm calm. I'm calm. It's just I'm so sick and tired of the trope and the narrative because I talk to women every day. I coach women every day who have stagnant uteruses, who have stagnant flow in the uteruses, who are who have all types of dis-ease in their uteruses and their ovaries and inside of their feminine parts from accepting and pulling in all of the pains of this world, taking it in. Sucking it in, covering it in tumors, and then pushing them back out whole. He's talking about all of the things that he will now give to his wife. Because of all that she endured in this relationship, never even taking into account that maybe this woman had a destiny and dreams of her own. This is why we know, this is John Gray. This is why we know John Gray's name and we do not know his wife's name. What would this world be like? If instead of using our uteruses as repair shops for broken boys, what would this world be like if we ascend to our full glory as goddess? 
It's like here we are being Lord and Savior to these broken boys. And you know what? The, listen, religion plays a lot into what's going on inside this video. Because in the religion that they are worshiping in Christianity, as a woman, she couldn't be the pastor of that church. So that women are considered men's helpmates. So that her highest ascension can be that of helping him get to where it is that he's quote unquote supposed to be. What would this world be like if a woman like that, like listen, you know what? This is the thing that I'm saying. So she has helped John Gray get here. Now he's the one with the money. He's the one with the fame and he's the one with the power and the influence. So then now he's like, oh yes, honey, now at my discretion, eight years after beating up you, your uterus, your womb and your feminine energy, now I'm going to give you what it is that I see fit to give unto you because of all of these years that you, that you, that you rehabilitated me through your womb and through your goddess energy. Never, ever, ever giving her the credit as his God. He's still worshiping the white man. Listen to what I'm saying. It's like we as women, we worship men and we wonder why we're subjugated. And as black people, we worship whites and wonder why we're oppressed. And so here she is uplifting a man who is worshiping and serving in a religion, worshiping a white man. The, all of this just seems so backwards. Meanwhile, she's the one who is God. Listen to what it is that I'm saying. This woman didn't have dreams of her own. She didn't have a place that she wanted to go in this world. What would this world be like if goddess invested that energy in lifting and rising up herself? What inventions could she have founded? What diseases could she have cured instead of curing the disease of this man's narcissism and egoism that ha apparently wasn't even fully cured because then he comes back around talking about when a man finds a lid or a cover, when a man marries this, he's still talking about what women can do for men, never even acknowledging that he was her lid that held her back so that her highest ascension, listen, okay, so pour into her, give her some money or some riches or whatever it is that you want to give her now. What does her womb look like? What does her uterus look like? What does her own mental health look like? What is that woman suffering from behind the scenes? Where was the therapy for him so that they're coming into this relationship expecting black women or women in general or whatever to be their ther unpaid, unlicensed and unqualified therapist? to be their repair person, to be their God and savior, to cleanse them of whatever it is that they're going through in this world and then birth them back out into the world brand new. He said that this woman, listen, for those of you who are mothers out there, and I'm sure he was in the delivery room, so you know how painful it is to give birth. He said that she endured more pain, quote unquote, giving birth to him than she ever did. Listen, from what it is that I hear, it sounds like your body is tearing apart, that you feel it all in your spine, that the, that the pain resonates all throughout your body, up into the back of your head. You just feel like you're splitting from top to bottom. Oh, God. And he said that she endured more pain giving birth to the children. I mean, giving birth to him than I just, I just, I, I, I want to hear your thoughts. Please help me do the arbitrals. What is it that you read between the lines on this? I'm just, I, I, ladies, please. What would this world be like? If women like that poured into really uplifting and rising themselves and then meet yourself a man who has done the work. It's like we're so busy meeting these people along the way who are not investing the time and having the, the knowledge of self, the self-love enough to invest in healing themselves. Like he doesn't even feel that he needs to get therapy. Why should any man get therapy when the black woman is going to be your therapist, your Lord and your savior and birth you back out into this world brand new. And those hosts should be ashamed of themselves glorifying, clapping about this mess. I'm out of here. Tanya TKO.